In today's technology-driven world, permanent magnets are used in a variety of applications. Many don't know where to begin when choosing a magnet. In this short video, we'll take a look at some basic elements that can be helpful when selecting the right magnet for your project. First, let's look at what a permanent magnet is. A permanent magnet is an object that produces a magnetic field around itself. This field enables them to stick to each other and to some types of metals. All magnets have two poles, north and south. They stick to ferromagnetic materials like iron and things that contain iron, like steel. This can include anything from your car's steel body to your refrigerator door. Magnets won't stick to most other metal types, including aluminum or copper. Magnets will stick to any material that has iron in it, but what about another magnet? When will they attract and when will they repel? As you saw before, each magnet has a north and south pole. Magnets attract when opposite poles are facing each other. Conversely, magnets repel when like poles are facing each other. How is this force measured? This force, often called the pull force, can be measured four different ways. The first, most common way, measures a magnet to a steel plate. Using a special pull force gauge, the magnet is pulled perfectly vertical off of the steel plate. Case two has the magnet sandwiched between two steel plates. Using the same process, the gauge measures the force required to pull one of the steel plates off of the magnet. The third and fourth cases are similar in that they are both magnet-to-magnet -magnet forces. Case three measures the magnet-to-magnet -magnet attraction, while case four measures magnet-to-magnet -magnet repulsion. A strange phenomenon of neodymium magnets is that case one is equal to case three, which is also equal to case four. Case two is greater than, but sometimes equal to case one, depending on the magnet shape. A magnet's strength isn't the only important thing to think about. A magnet's magnetic field can be crucial in electrical and other specialized applications. As we learned earlier, a permanent magnet is an object that produces a magnetic field around itself. This field is made up of lines, called flux lines, flowing from the North Pole to the South Pole. A magnet's field is strongest at the surface, which is indicated by these darker colors and the lines being closer together. As the field spreads out, it gets weaker. Think about throwing a rock in the water. Most of the force happens when the rock enters the water, but some force is dispersed throughout the ripples. The ripples lessen as they get farther away from the rock. The magnetic field is measured in terms of Gauss, which indicates the lines of magnetic flux per square centimeter. This can be figured out using some pretty complicated formulas or using special equipment to measure it. But don't worry, we have it all figured out for you. Just remember, the higher the Gauss rating, the stronger the surface field. Also remember that surface field doesn't necessarily correlate to pull force. Does this all seem a bit complicated? We can find all these numbers directly on our website for each individual magnet. No fancy calculations or formulas needed. Now you can impress your friends or boss by making smart, informed magnet purchases. This presentation was brought to you by KJ Magnetics, your source for the world's strongest magnets.